Hey guys, this is Jax the Legend here. Today I'm here with another Minecraft build tutorial where I'll be showing you guys an of Minecraft invention that will change your life forever. So let's go inside my main temple ruin. As you come inside, you may recognize this build. It is my automatic kelp farm. There's a link in the top right corner of this video if you want to build this. But I don't want my kelp to just go into a chest. I want it to be smelted and taken up to the top of my house. So let's see how this auto smelting transporter works. The kelp comes out of the farm and into the hoppers at the top. Then it is transported down into the furnace. From the furnace, once the kelp has been cooked, it moves along the, the hopper line and up our bubble column to the very top of my house. Now I'm going to put some kelp into this chest. Let's watch what happens. As you can see, the kelp is getting thrown up to the top and going into the hoppers, and it looks really cool from the bottom and the top. Yum, lunch is served. So let's get building. To create the kelp farm, follow my kelp farm tutorial in the top left corner. You will have to slightly adjust the build to make it two blocks wide because of the changed water mechanics. You will also need to add a backboard that's three to four blocks high. I did mine too short here and you'll see me changing it later in the video. This is because we've added soul sand which throws the items up. You can even put a roof on it if you want to. Because of the new water mechanics, it is very important to place the water in a, the correct order and place. To start, add a one block deep water at the bottom of your growing hole. Then plant your kelp. Now fill up to the top of the glass with water, making sure there's no gaps or flowing water. Fill in the top with blocks and then place water straight across the back, so it should flow forward like this. Then break those blocks. There we have it, our kelp farm. Now let's move on to the main part of our build, the auto furnace and transporter. Once we've created the automatic kelp farm, come to the bottom of that chest and place two more hoppers. Then place your furnace and come into the side of the furnace. Furnace? Furnace? To the, come into the side of the furnace, place another hopper with a chest on top of that. You will put your coal in this chest. Then come under the hopper, under the furnace, and place a chest next to it with a hopper going into it. And under that chest, place another hopper, going into another hopper, like so. Then go to where you want your kelp to be traveled to and get your dispenser out and place it there, like so. Once you've done that, connect the hoppers into the dispenser. The reason why I've done it so it's two blocks down is so you can cover up the hoppers, like so. But if you don't care about this, of course, you don't have to put the chest here. Now cover up the hoppers with grass blocks. So once you've covered up the hoppers with glass blocks, grass blocks, come down to where the dispenser is, break a two block hole, make it too deep. Then grab soul sand and place two of it at the bottom, so it should look a bit like this. This is where your tube is going to be. Once you have done that, grab some glass, and you can build this as high as you want, and create a tube like so. You don't have to put the corner blocks in. There you have it, the basis of your tube. For the next part, you're going to need some water, a redstone comparator, some redstone repeaters, and some redstone dust. Come to the top of your tube and place some water at the top. So you, it should flow down and when you go to the bottom of it, it should push you up. And when you throw, chuck an item at the bottom, it should push the item up. And I just lost my repeater, that was not smart. <laughs> Once you have done that, you want to create the contraption that throws the items up. So come to where your dispenser is, place a comparator facing out of the dispenser, place a redstone repeater, 
and then another comparator. Make sure the last com comparator is turned on. Then surround it with redstone. It should look like this. Once you've done that, bring that redstone current down to the block that the dispenser is on. And place the repeater facing into the block the dispenser's on. So it should look like this. So when an item goes into the dispenser, I'll put a lot in so I can show you, it should create an instant clock and the item should get thrown up. I'll just take those out, otherwise I'll have a lot of redstone on the ground. But now we need to create the contraption that pushes it into the chest. Let's build the collector! To build the collector, you are going to need a block of your choice, two water buckets, two hoppers, and two or one chest, depending on if you want a single or double chest. To start, come to the back of your tube and build one block up, like so. Then do that again and surround it. So it should look like this. Like a chair, actually. Now bring this object, or chair, two blocks forward. Once you've done that, bring one block out, a chest, and if you want a double or single chest, that's your choice, put two hoppers into that chest. Like this. Now this is the important bit. Make sure you get some sort of half block of your choice. It could be a slab, a stair, some glowstone, I will use some stairs and place these on top of your chest. They extend this for one block out, one block further. But now, when you come out up to the back, on the ledge here, place some water and it should flow directly onto the hoppers. So when I say put my kelp in here, kelp at the bottom, It should go straight up and in to the hoppers. Make sure, especially in survival, well you mainly built this in survival, to put a roof on top of this, otherwise the kelp could go straight out. You do not want to lose kelp because it, they, it's an amazing food source. Like this. I have enclosed my kelp smelting factory in a Mayan ruined temple. I have disguised the kelp tube as a chimney. I have got this look using cobblestone slabs, stairs, stone bricks and some of the new dead coral. And I have also placed a house on the top. Around the build to create a rustic field, I have used coarse dirt, podzole, and some spruce trees. Watch out for next week's video where I'll be doing something really exciting. And if you want to see a tutorial on how to build my Mayan temple in the future, comment down below hashtag Mayan temple. So that's going to be the end of this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys later. Peace. As you can see, the kelp goes straight up the tube and into the hopper. Holy shizzles! There's a person there. This is because we've added so salt, so so salt. Because we, because we've added salt, so salt, so salt. Do you know the way?